asshole. Tell me something. What fucking gives you the right to hurt, harass, lie, slander, stalk, harass, uh, threaten, and fucking bully and hurt people, huh? Tell me that. What gives you that fucking right? No fucking right. You think you have the right because you're nothing but a sociopathic, narcissistic, pathological, lying, egotistical, fucking piece of shit, cunt, pussy ass little bitch. You pushed me enough. The fucking video's going back up, yeah. You know the video? The one that I made almost a year ago? Yeah, a year. It's been a fucking year I've been putting up with this fucking asshole. This fucking asshole. I've been putting up with him for almost a fucking year. He can't learn. He doesn't fucking learn. Oh, I can show screen caps of court documents. Oh, but I'm still wrong. Fuck you. Just fuck you. You will always be wrong, and I will always be right because I have the proof. What, you have your stupid little opinions that you believe are actually found off of pedophile websites? Everything you fucking say is made up on top of your head. If I actually go to a, a professional psych a psychiatric website talking about pedophiles, everything you fucking say is the opposite of what they say. Oh, so you're the professional, huh? Bull fucking shit. You don't even know what a preferential fucking pedophile is. Victim playing, lying, pathological lying, sociopathic, narcissistic fucking asshole. God, I fucking hate you. The video's going back up. A year I've been putting up with this fucking asshole. A fucking year of my life. I'm trying to knock some sense into this fuck. He copyrighted this video you're gonna see soon off of my page soon after I made it. Oh. Don't ask me why either, because I don't swear in the video or nothing. Why doesn't he like it then? Oh, because I showed screen caps of things he does. The video is meant to expose him and his page. But he didn't like it. Oh, Mike, did I swear? No. Did I show your face? No. Oh, but he didn't like the video. I was flagged for harassment, even though all I did was show direct screen caps of his own page and explain what the screen caps are. Not only that, but he fucking denied everything that was on the page or the video. Yeah, you know what? For those of you who don't even remember, it, it was almost the same day after I posted that video, every single post that I showed in the video, he removed off his page. But then he has a nerve to say to me, oh, Matt, you think I do things on my page because of things you say? Fuck no, well, how, much, how big of an ego do you have? Not as big as yours, apparently. What, are you going to tell me that the fact you removed everything off your page the day I uploaded the video is nothing but a big coincidence? Fuck you, you lying little f fucking asshole. Liar. What a fucking liar. You removed that shit off your page because of my video and nothing else. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been the same fucking day. It was the same day. Oh, but I guess it was just a huge coincidence. Just like how everything that happened to Michael Jackson is also a coincidence. You know, and it coincidentally supports your opinion. Everything with you is a fucking coincidence. God forbid you support anything. But I fucking show things with screen caps and proof, but I'm the idiot. Fuck you. The reason it's going back up is because after I made that video, not only did he delete everything off his page that I showed in the video, but from that point on, his page started to go more Wade Robson supporting oriented as opposed to Michael Jackson swearing oriented because I made him fucking do that as much as he'll deny it. Just like how he fucking denied that he bought those likes on Facebook. Fucking liar. But over the past few months I've kind of I've kind of left Mike alone. And because of that, his page has now went back to slandering Michael again as opposed to supporting other victims and Wade. All because I fucking left him alone. W w oh, sorry. I'm sorry. This is another coincidence, is it? Right now your page is filled with hate again. You and your little stupid fucknut minions insulting and abusing, harassing, slandering, stalking, threatening, and bullying everybody. Just like how you fucking threatened, threatened me with my own job a few months ago. Remember that asshole? Remember last year you threatened me with my own fucking job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoy the video. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hello, this is a video to inform both the moderators of YouTube and Facebook. This video is in regards to a man named Mike Parr, who owns a YouTube channel called Allies of Wade Robson, and also owns a Facebook page called Supporters of Wade Robson and Other Victims of MJ. This video is being used to expose the truth about Mike and his page, as many fans have done in-depth research into the person running it, 
and those who follow it and found a lot to be very, very sketchy on the pages and channels. First thing I want to say before I start the video is that this is a disclaimer. Uh, nothing said in this video can be considered slander or illegal. This video is made to be informative and nothing more. Now into my points regarding illegal actions that Mike Parr has taken on YouTube and Facebook. My first point I need to mention is that his Facebook page has over 10,000 people, yet his Twitter, personal Facebook, and YouTube all have approximately 20 people. This is not just a coincidence. This proves that Mike has been buying likes to inflate his Facebook page. Link below explaining how he bought likes on Facebook. What you are looking at is a status update directly from Mike's page trying to manipulate people into joining his group by giving away a PS3. This shows that he does not care for real victims, but just wants to inflate the number on his page as much as possible. Additionally, this goes against the Facebook guidelines. Now what you are looking at is more illegal action. What you are looking at is my reply to Mike, threatening to hunt down and show my employers my videos. As you can see, he deleted his own comment, but my reply to it proves that he did say it. This is a gross act of stalking, harassment, privacy invasion, which are all highly illegal. Here is another example of Mike trying to tap into people's personal information using manipulation and scare tactics. As you can see, this is a discussion that Mike is having with a fan where he is trying to force the fan into giving him their personal information, such as their address. This is harassment and borderline stalking. Next, here is a screen cap of a video Mike uploaded which involves audio of one of my videos that Mike stole off my channel, known as Matt's FTR, without my permission. The next item that you are looking at is a screen cap of Mike telling a fan of Michael Jackson that it is perfectly fine to molest children as long as you only do it one time. This screenshot further proves that Mike is only against Michael Jackson and not doing this for the purpose of supporting Wade Robson at all. Mike has contacted Gene Simmons as well as many other celebrities and news reporters, trying to manipulate them into joining his game. One of which was Gene Simmons, who was enticed by Mike to start arguing with numerous Michael Jackson fans. This is further proof that Mike's real intention is to spread hatred online, as there is no actual weight supporting going on. Instead, all I see here is negativity about MJ. Additionally, here is a screen cap directly from Twitter of Gene Simmons egging on Michael Jackson fans. What you are looking at now is a list of every celebrity and news reporter that Mike has tried contacting through Twitter, which can easily be taken as harassment. Out of all the people that Mike sent tweets out to, the one that stood out to me the most was AEG Worldwide. This is the company highly responsible for Michael Jackson's death, and is also highly suspected of hiring Wade to make up these claims as they are currently in court. Yet Mike tries to contact them. I find this very odd. The next screenshot is of Mike harassing a man named Brett Barnes, trying to force Brett into saying that he was touched by Michael Jackson. This is one tweet in particular of Mike directly trying to manipulate Brett by telling him what to say. The next screenshot taken from Mike's support page of Wade Robson, he is essentially threatening the entire internet that if anyone makes a positive comment about Michael Jackson, even if the comment is civil and polite, he will falsely report these people of harassment to Facebook. The next screen cap is of Mike saying that anyone who does not follow his ideas will be instantly banned and censored from the internet. This shows that Mike is a manipulative liar and is also very one-sided. Here is now a screen cap of Mike saying that he will report any and all comments that he does not like to the FBI. It is important that Mike understands you cannot harass the FBI like this. This is illegal. I personally find this status disturbing because it shows a very strange obsession and de desperation to take down anyone who does not directly follow his ideas. What you're going to see now are a bunch of screenshots I have that are direct comments made by Mike and his own supporters insulting and slandering Michael Jackson and his fans. This first one shows a wall that fans signed, and the comment says that MG was exterminated. This is a very disgusting and disturbing term used towards a deceased man. The next one shows a Wade supporter calling all MJ fans pedophiles. False claims and accusations such as these are illegal. The next screen cap is from a Wade supporter saying that he hopes one of the fans gets raped and murdered. This next one is directly insulting Michael Jackson's daughter, Paris Jackson, who has just recently had a suicide attempt, yet is still receiving cyberbullying such as this. And finally the last one is a very disturbing picture mocking MJ laid down after death. YouTube and Facebook. With all this being presented, it is crucial that this man Mike is terminated from both Facebook and YouTube, or at least investigated for criminal activity. It is evident that Mike has slandered, stalked, bullied, threatened, and harassed hundreds of people by this point, and something needs to be done regarding these issues. 
see, this is what pissed me off the most, and this is actually why I'm putting this fucking video back up, because some of this depraved shit you're seeing here, look at some of this, he sent a, a, a tweet to Frank Cassio, we all know who that is, Frank Cassio is the guy who's been a long time, lifelong friend of Michael's, Frank never said one single bad word about Michael, Frank never accused him or anything, but for some reason, Mike Parr needs to go and say, Frank, I hope that you one day, you come to terms with, with what Michael did to you. I am also a survivor of, of child sexual abuse. What the fuck? Do you not see how fucking fucked up that is? That is the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Frank has never said a single goddamn fucking, fucking, fucking word about Michael. He's never insulted him once or accused him of any pedophilia whatsoever. And little Mike Parr here doesn't seem to understand that making a statement like that is essentially him just, is essentially him saying, I hope you were molested. I hope to God that you were molested so that you can also come out of the woodworks and insult Michael for something that he clearly didn't fucking do. Disgusting. And then here, look what he does fucking here. Tito Jackson did a recent interview with Jeremy Kyle, and Jerry, Jeremy Kyle's a really good guy. He does a lot of, like, um, Maury, Jerry Springer type stuff about relationships and people, but he did an interview with Tito Jackson recently, a really good interview. But, of course, Michael, uh, Mike has to fucking go and say, Oh, as a survivor of child sexual abuse, I found your softball interview with Tito Jackson insulting and sad. And of course, as Jeremy does not want to fucking talk to him like nobody else fucking does, he has to go on and insult him. You are more concerned about impressing Tito than you never mentioned the two accusers, total of five. Never mind, uh, sorry, never never mentioned the low incidences of false allegations amongst male victims. Never challenged the two known to payouts. Never mentioned the fact that according to the DA and the lead investigator for the first accuser accurately describing MJ's penis. Oh my god. So, because, so because Tom Snedden says the fucking drawing matched, then it must have matched. Not because of the court documents. I mean, in my Jimmy, in my, um, Myth vs. Reality video, I actually showed the drawing itself. And anybody can tell that drawing that did not fucking match. But, nope, because... Because Tom Snedden says it matched, it must have fucking matched. Mike Parr logic. Fuck you, you stupid asshole. You then went on uh, and just disregarded the accusers because it was an easy thing to do. That interview, total sellout. Oh, fuck you. So you, see, you see what he does? This guy fucking denies being passive-aggressive and calls me the passive-aggressive... Uh, he fucking calls me the passive-aggressive one. Are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking joking me? I'm the passive-aggressive one? Where in the fuck... Do you see me as a passive aggressive one? You are the one who fucking tw um, fucking tweets celebrities all the time, and the minute they either don't respond to you or block you or anything that involves not doing exactly what you say, you get mad at them and, and, and start insulting them. Even though your first tweet is very very nice to get them to to manipulate them into listening to you. Oh yeah, that's totally not passive aggressive, Matt. What is the definition of harassment? Because I thought you were the true definition. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, really. I'm the definition of harassment. So let me get this straight. Me making a YouTube channel where I where I either defend people or rant about people like you is harassment, which is not harassment, but you going around tweeting every single celebrity on the planet multiple times and even being blocked by as far as I know three of them off by you know off by heart you were blocked by Lisa Marie Presley Whoopi Goldberg and Brett Barnes and I think more but no no I am the harasser you're totally not you were fucking blocked by celebrities who because because you kept bothering them but no no you are not the harasser Mike you're a great fucking person criticizing Jeremy Kyle's interviewing skills and calling him out for being a hypocrite is expressing my opinion not harassing bullshit that is not an opinion because you insulted him. It is harassment. So why don't you fucking look up the definition because you clearly don't fucking know it. Looks like a more stupid tweet you sent me. You might want to watch this video from Co from Conan O'Brien. This is how much of the world views fanatical MJ fans. Actually, that was merely just um, trying out the insult comic dog going to the fucking courtroom or outside of it and talking to the fans. Big fucking deal. He didn't even really insult any of the fans. He just joked around with them and I actually found it funny and none of those people are anything like the way I talk, you stupid asshole. You're the fanatic, you fucker. In fact, I, mean, I even made an MJ Fanatics rant talking about bad things that fans do. Oh no, but I'm the fanatic. Yes, yeah, makes perfect fucking sense, you stupid ass. Expressing my opinion and asking questions is not harassment. Because you don't do that, though. You don't fucking do that. You need to look up the definition. You use words you don't understand. Bull fucking shit. You can't even spell properly, okay? You are the one who's constantly throwing around words and all kinds of nice little terminology. You don't fucking have a clue what it means. Kind of like preferential pedophilia and thousands of others. I actually know what I'm talking about. You are passive-aggressive and you are a harasser. You are a liar, a threatener, a bully, or a stalker, and everything else I fucking named.
Well, Matt, hate to break into the news to you, but you would fall into the category of who Triumph makes making fun of bullshit. Jimmy Safechuck's attorney, from what I hear, has some pretty damning evidence on MJ. Yeah, I have, yeah, well, you know what? So did, so did uh, Tom Snedden, and he failed miserably. Sued for what? Tweeting people? Didn't know that was a crime. You don't fucking just tweet people. You insult them, slander them, you act passive-aggressive, and you do it multiple times. And yes, you deserve to be fucking sued for harassment, you fucking asshole. Is there going to be another video where you state your opinion and, and they go debunked? Oh, are you talking about the, the fucking Jimmy Safechuck video? You mean the one where I actually used court documents to back up my proof, and then you go and call it an opinion, even though it's clearly not because I fucking used <coughs> court documents? documents you fucker it was court documents in that video unlike your videos and then who says debunked me maybe because i actually did fucking debunk you maybe if you fucking watched my video with an open mind or even a closed mind because you're so damn stupid you'd see that everything i read was from was directly from court documents you stupid fuck so you know what if court documents are my opinion then i would love to hear my fucking facts wouldn't you oh my god it is funny that none of the people I tweet, I say I'm harassing them. Bullshit. Fucking Brett Barnes sent a tweet right to you saying, stop harassing me. Fuck you and your fucking lying bullshit. The lawyer has called Jim, James Safechuck's case airtight. I can't wait. Matt, I am telling you now that your constant video is harassment, so please cease and desist. <laughs> Everybody, Matt C is constantly making videos about me. I told him to stop, but he won't stop. He is harassing me. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm harassing you because I make exposing videos. No, no, Mike. If I was harassing you, my videos would be lies about you. I'd be insulting you with no with no premises. I would be spreading lies about you, and I'd be doing basically the wrong thing to do. But no, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm showing screenshots. I'm telling the truth. I'm backing myself and I'm proving it. And I'm doing, and I'm going against your thing, which is to do things that are bad. I am defending the ones who are being harassed. I am defending the ones that you are stalking, slandering, bullying. So don't fucking tell me that I'm the bad one. Don't fucking tell me to cease and desist. You need to fucking cease and desist. You need to fucking end this bullshit. The only one here causing problems is you, nobody else. But of course, being the fucking sociopathic piece of shit you are, you can't see your own faults. No matter how many fucking videos I make, you will never, ever admit to being wrong. You will never admit that you are a fucking harasser. And that's the fucking sad part. You are disgusting. You are fucking disgusting and deplorable. You make me sick. Fuck you. Fuck you to hell.